Now I know it's been a long time since I did a Transformers video, so please don't comment on it too much. But here is a new one. It's Transformers Prime Bulkhead. This series version of Bulkhead takes some inspiration from its counterpart that appeared in Transformers Animated with especially the chin design. But it may have somewhat more focus on the brain over on the bronze side than brains. Yeah, actually have more important roles and better designed for the character. He is the one the main cast of Autobots in Optimus Prime. Well, being in Optimus Prime's group and a former member of a group of, of special service, special ops called the, the Wreckers. Alongside Real Jack, or Jack as he calls him. <laughs> I'll get to Real Jack later. He transforms into what I assume is a all terrain vehicle. And it go comes in his Transformers animated colors, <laughs> which are a few super area and more lighting, and better detailing. And again, this was the, the Transformers Prime series, which came out. Already after Transformers animated, and he has some designs to his weaponry that's somewhat similar to his old self, as well as a big original idea. Like, he has a wrecking ball like mace weapon for that one arm turns into, but doesn't have a chain, so it's just a mace weapon arm. I don't seem ever using a range weapon. But when, then, well, when he does use one, I never see it visible. <laughs> He's often seen as kind of the muscle of the group, which is isn't very different from his appearance in Transformers Animated. But he ends up developing a special bond with the human child known as Miko who really likes to smash things while well, he's kind of a gentle giant as describing his bio back when Hub was back when Hub was still around. <laughs> he's always been careful about getting yelled at by Ratchet for breaking things. <laughs> anyway yeah he's even gotten kidnapped or Taking on many certain cons, especially getting full episodes like one episode where he got to face off, face off against his rival Breakdown, or that episode where a magic artifact, a Transformers artifact, got him stuck to, with well RCA back to back, literally. Like they're somehow magnetized to each other. <laughs> it's quite embarrassing. But that's nothing compared to what happened to like a acne and, and breakdown at the end of that episode. <laughs> totally priceless. <laughs> but he really made an impact on the series. He got to go make, make his parents in the, in the sequel series, Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015. Which had very similar takes on what he would look like in that series, but they removed his big chin. <laughs> yeah, here is Transformers Prime Bulkhead.